It's time to add another clip to the camera as a, another segment of the Big Bang Theory's BTS log. It is 23 hours and 21 minutes, actually 22 minutes, into the day of Sunday, October 23rd, 2016. Yeah. Um, vlogging every day. That's happening. Uh, as I said before, uh, I've shelved the sort of the standard uh, daily vlog format uh, simply because there's no real start or end to the day. Some days will have a lot of content and you'll have actually uh, multiple episodes that will cover one day. And other days there won't be. Uh, it will, you'll have uh, uh, several days in one episode. So this is kind of the way things will go. It's, so you're, you're going to get daily vlog, but my life just isn't that um, standardized uh, to have a uh, daily vlog the way everybody else is, is, does the daily vlogging. And the thing is, again, this is not a standard daily vlog. We're trying to do something completely different. We're trying to push the envelope a little further. Sometimes it's popular, sometimes not so popular. Uh, and it doesn't really matter. The, the whole point is the experience here. Um, it, it, it's doing something that's a little different, pushing the envelope. Uh, everybody wants to go behind these pay subscription things. Uh, even the Shaytars now, they're pushing YouTube Red. And they say, well, now it's time for everyone to get paid. Well, wait a minute here. Let's back up a little bit. Because they're telling you how great YouTube Red is and how it allows uh, uh, different uh, people like I, Justine, and all these other YouTubers who've gone over to the scripts, subscription time, how the subscription helps them out. But I thought they were being getting paid by their views, right? That their channel t channels were monetized already by collecting advertisement. What happened to that? What happened to all that money? What happened? You know, this is the question is, is as if they kind of completely forgot about the money they were making from having their average viewership, and now they say, well, if you want to follow us, you have to pay for a subscription. And I'm almost going to guarantee you that, that in addition to the subscription, that they're still going to advertise on the channel. I don't think they're going to stop the advertising and, and, and just have the subscription there. More likely than not, what's going to happen when you buy the subscription to YouTube or get X number of channels, that you're still going to have advertising there. This is what happens. Is, this is the, There's now another layer of making money. And that's all this is about. It's about making money. But the thing is, YouTube's claim to fame, the reason why YouTube is YouTube, is because it was a free, free platform. Every Go to any other play, free platform like, uh, like Vimeo or Dailymotion that have a, a we we'll call it a premium tier. It's a dead service. They're dead. There's nobody, there's nobody there. So if YouTube wants to destroy itself, and which is, looks like what's happening, YouTube is working to destroy itself, then, yeah, YouTube Red is the way to go. You know? <laughs> there will be no... For, there will be, will be... With YouTube Red, there will be no future YouTube. Which will be fine for the major companies, like, like the cable companies, because uh, the major competition to all the cable companies and all these big movie studios was YouTube. So if YouTube destroys itself by putting itself up, putting up, putting up a subscription wall, hey, that's great for most of the major uh, uh, movie producers. That's great for most of the TV uh, networks. You know, for the cable companies, that's great because there is YouTube is essentially taking itself out of the game. 
Because they cannot compete against these big, massive mega studios. And these mega studios know this. That these, these, these smaller studios can't compete. That eventually they'll be bought up and brought into the establishment fold. And once, you, once the general YouTube is gone, the anti-established environment, the independent environment, will be gone. And this is kind of what the threat. This, this this is the move here. The move is to get rid of the independence, to get rid of any form of anti-establishment, and to get rid of, and to bring in a conformity to society, to to societal ideas. Ironically enough, it's not coming from it's not coming from the uh, Republican right. It's coming from the Democrat left. It's coming from the Democratic left. You know, socialism. It appears initially to be nice and friendly and philanthropic and. Uh, open and free and whatever. Once you're inside, when you, once enough people have crossed that line and let their guard down, the doors begin to close. The trap begins to to ensnare people, and before they know it, they can't get out, and the society is no longer free. This is the lie of socialism, and this is why socialism is so dangerous because it does do what it says it's going to do. It's going to work for the benefit of those who run society. It's going to create a, an established section of society that runs everything, that knows the best, that knows what's best for everyone else, and that everybody else is going to have to toe the line. Now, these people say, this is what society should be. And that's what's happening to YouTube. Hopefully, enough people can resist this and, and sort of keep YouTube open. You know, not follow the subscription line to YouTube Red, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, um, I'm going to leave that here now for tonight. Uh, it's, I'm getting a little tired and uh, getting enough work done during the day. But uh, I'm, well, during when I'm awake anyways. <laughs> it's not, it, 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 I have, I have, I work seven days a week. It's, it's, the, it's the studying is seven days a week. There is no weekend to take off. I get a few extra hours of sleep here, a few extra hours of sleep there. That's my time off. And that's about it. And that's kind of the way it works now. I'm going to bed now. I have no idea when I'm going to wake up. I, uh, I'm feeling kind of worn out from the weekend and from uh, what I did during the week. Uh, the work up at Mars Alpha, that was good, but... <sighs> Sorry about that. Very tiring. So, I'm giving myself, I was, was supposed to be giving myself a couple extra hours this week of sleep. I've done that to a certain degree. But I keep getting up because I get hungry and when I get up and hungry I watch, I watch some vlogs. And I did some work on my vlogs. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So now it's time to go back to bed. I've ended it up. I've basically unloaded all the clips from from basically from Thursday till till today. All those clips have been offloaded. They're on the system now. They're being organized. Then I have to start rendering again. And and also uh, so probably between tonight and tomorrow, I'll finish the work on the editing the editing bay so I can start rendering the clips. Uh, I'll work on two more two more uh, episodes uh, for uh, Big Bang Big Bang Bang, uh, Big Bang Theory RL. I do that on the editing desk, and I'll get out a an, uh, probably get out another Tweetline Plus. There's another Tweetline Plus coming coming out. In addition to some work on uh, another uh, couple episodes of uh, meditations, so those are also coming out as well. So. Uh, bit by bit, we're moving the needle, the 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 the, the change for we're making progress. And hopefully I'll continue on uh, tomorrow, see what I can get done, how much progress I can get done, and that will sort of set the pace for what's going to happen for the rest of the week. So, anyways, uh, I am now leaving this here <laughs> the way it is, and I will see you in the next se segment of uh, Big Bang Theory, RL's BTS vlog. Alright, take it easy. Alrighty, welcome back to the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theater L's BTS vlog. Oh, the background means. Uh, excuse me. 
background the background means I'm either getting up or going to bed. <laughs> it could be for a nap, it could be, you know, for whatever. Anyways, I am just getting up. <laughs> um Although you can never can tell. Uh so let me give you a time and date stamp. It is ten hours and forty seven minutes into the day of Thursday, October twenty seventh, two thousand sixteen. And once again, ugh, gap in the vlogs. Uh, I'm trying to get caught up on my editing. That is occurring. Uh, uh, I'm starting to move further ahead. I took Monday and Tuesday off somewhat. Uh, and that's why I say somewhat because I ended up uh, going walking for Mars Elf. I'm just going to start packing now for the next trip. Preparing for the next trip on uh, uh, on November 9th, I think it is. Let me see when the next date is. I'm going up to Mars Alpha. Ugh, bring up the calendar. No, sort of let me know where we are and in terms of everything. Here we go. October. November. Yeah, November 10th, 11th, and 12th. That's actually... Uh, today is the uh, 27th. Next week is uh, the 4th, November 4th, and the week after that, well, because we're going up the 3rd, November 3rd is next week, and the week after that is November 10th, that's when I go up, so. Uh, starting to get ready, starting to get prepared uh, to, uh, I think this is going to be the final load I have to bring up to uh, uh, myself. So it's not going to be as large as it was before, but uh, nonetheless, uh, when you do have to do shopping for it, you have to walk these particularly long distances. I still have one more uh, hike to make. Uh, this is going to be an extra long hike because it's uh, further up to the north uh, in terms of where I am. Uh, I think it's going to be a four or five hour hike to get what I need to get. Uh, these are parts for the uh, water system. Uh, that will sort of resolve some of the leaking problems that I've had with the uh, winter water supply. So that's the other thing is you normally when you have to you have a winter water supply and a summer water supply. Uh, normally you'd have to physically take apart everything and switch from summer to winter. Uh, what I did is I put in valves with with uh, uh, valves with switches on them, basically spigots. And instead of physically taking the water system apart and putting it back together again for winter and summer, you simply switch between the two different systems. Uh, that's what I'm installing now. The problem was, and still is, because it hasn't been repaired, is that the connectors I had been using, bought brand new, don't work because they leak. Uh, they were out of the box, unmodified, uh, they leak horribly. I mean, they, I mean, it spurts everywhere. I mean, it, these are major leaks. Uh, make a duck, a, a gasket out of duct tape, and the leaks aren't as bad. But they're still uh, a, a significant enough that I don't want to leave them in there. I want to put new connectors on, so I found a new way of doing that, uh, so that the connectors don't leak. But that that makes that means I have to take a trip up to Home Depot. Uh, then it closes Home Depot tour me in terms, in terms of a significant hardware is about uh, uh, about a four hour walk there and back. So it's two hours there, two hours back. So it's going to take, it's going to be a major effort probably sometime uh, next week. I'll probably end up doing that. And then uh, what else do I have to do? Uh, I did that. I did yesterday. I did. I went to the uh, the the mall that I had. Uh, I usually get my bulk my bulk supplies from. Uh, and I got another suitcase because I needed a smaller one. I don't have a smaller one. Uh, the big suitcase they have does. I don't need it anymore because I'm moving into the trailer. I don't have to bring as much with me anymore because a lot of the stuff is already there, and it stays up there. So I needed a new uh, suitcase. They have a good suitcase place in the uh, mall that uh, has uh, the uh, bulk food supplies. 
That's where I go get my bunks food supplies from. Um, they have a good ledger store. I've bought, I've bought my, the backpack. Have you seen the backpack I'm wearing? It's basically a suitcase with backpack straps. I got that there. As a matter of fact, I've got most of my suitcases, including my, my office bag, the Barbie office bag. I got it from there. All on discount. That's all. I've, 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 I've always been able to get things on discount there. So I'm paying maybe a quarter of what I would have paid if I bought uh, something at another store, like a, a, at a, a, a regular luggage place, I guess. Uh, so they have good sales all the time. They have always have good discounts. So I always go there if I need a bag, I need a, something for luggage or whatever. I go there, and I get something that's uh, very uh, worthwhile. So uh, that's what I did yesterday. But again, uh, that walk is a good hour and a half away. So it's an hour and a half there, hour and a half back. It's about three hours. Uh, a little bit longer than uh, going to TNT my my, my weekly shopping. Weekly shopping is about an hour and ten, hour and fifteen minutes away for me. So it's an hour, ten, uh, an hour and a ten minutes there, an hour and ten minutes back, uh, plus about a half hour shopping. So it ends up in terms of the shopping time, it ends up being about three hours. So with the shopping time uh, uh, yesterday at the uh, bulk mall, uh, I ended up with is about four hours. So now uh, done a lot of walking. The body's a little sore. Uh, this is, I was supposed to be doing some time off yesterday, but that's not, didn't happen in terms of the way I would expect it, doing nothing all day long. It just, I just ended up doing that, sh the shopping I need to get done, so. Uh, anyways, I've got work to do on the Kauai Kitchen today. That work is being done. Uh, I've also been doing the work on the Kauai Gaming, so i got to get that done and out. And also been doing work on the editing bays. And that's coming along. So uh, a lot of work left to do today. Um, it's about about eleven o'clock. I would say I'll probably work for another. Uh, let's see, it's eleven o'clock now. Six. Well, if I worked to eleven, it would be another. It would be a twelve-hour day. I'll probably end up working around until just about eleven o'clock in the evening. So I'll put another twelve-hour day in. <laughs> that's kind of the way things go. Uh, anyways. Uh, I will see you a little bit after breakfast. Alright, take it easy. Well, welcome back, everybody. It is time once once again to say goodnight. Uh, it's near the end of the day. And I'm coming back to bed again. Uh, what happened in the day? Let me give, first give you the time and date stamp. It is 23 hours and 43 minutes into the day of Thursday, October 27th, uh, 2016. Well, not much actually happened today. I said I was, I was planning to do a lot more than I did. And that's because after I walk, usually the day after, this is when the soreness creeps in. Uh, and... Uh, Leaves me sort of knocked out for the day, so that's kind of what happened. I did, as I usually do, get work done. Uh, I was setting up, getting something to eat, and uh, uh, did some milling about. Uh, sort of did some odds and ends. It will be tomorrow. We'll sort of be see. Will be the pickup day where I take, I pick up where I've left off. I might even get up later, later on in the middle of the night. Uh, we'll see if I sleep all the way through the night and. Uh, to what happens there. I'm feeling like I'm in an altered state again, so we'll see what happens. Uh, that happens when I get into a uh, state of exhaustion that uh, my mind senses things or interprets things in a different manner than, they, than it normally does. And so this is what puts me into an altered state. Uh, so uh, it's kind of hard to say <laughs> where the things are going one way or another. I did some, I said, I did some fixing up on, and I said that before. I did some fixing up on the editing bay. Uh, one of the problems that was happening is that one of the, the editing bays uh, was taking three times longer than it should have taken to. Uh, 
uh, render a video. Like normally, one of my major major main stations takes just between two and three hours for a video. Uh, this uh, system was taking close to seven hours for the same video, and uh, I can't really couldn't really can't really and didn't really sort of figure out what was going on. Uh, I'm trying something different. Uh, it may have been one of the clips may have been faulty. There may have been issue with one of the clips. So I re-rendered the last clip, the sort of the ending clip, to be. Uh, this is more in line with uh, with the clips that are going in. So like I'm rendering everything to, towards uh, video is on. Uh, 18,000K or 18 megabytes per second and the audio is at 320 uh, kilobits per second so that's where I did around that that mark there so I had it on uh, MP4 of the H I think it's 264 two, something like that uh, the high definition with the ACC I think that's what AACC or AAC uh, codec for the audio, but that may have been causing a problem on this version of Caden the Live that I'm using. So, uh, well, kind of, I was sort of, I was sort of wait and see. I'm gonna try this out here to sort of see what it's like in terms of uh, uh, its its output in terms of the speed. The uh, the output is pretty good. I saw what I was producing on uh, on YouTube, and this was my standard output was was on this one here. So I moved the clip from one quality, which was uh, the uh, the full high definition, uh, down to a still high, still within full high definition in terms of it was uh, 1080p, but the high resolution codec is 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 now. Down to a low level, so it's not instead of being uh, I think it's AAC, it's uh, as that codec there. I'm using the MP3 uh, codec rather than uh, the you know, higher I think it's AAC rather than using that codec, and I'm not using the uh, H.264 uh, uh, codec for the video. I'm using the regular uh, MP4 codec. So um, we'll see how it turns out. Uh, it's, I have one of the clip, one of the uh, episodes rendering now. I still have more work, to, a lot more work to do tomorrow in terms of uh, organizing things. I've done all the work I need to get done for Mars Alpha. That's more or less done. So until next week, next week I have to do. Uh, it's gonna be, the hard part is going to have to take a four-hour hike uh, up to the store that I need to get the the Home Depot to get the uh, parts that I need to finish the winter side of the water system uh, in the village of Prophet Elias. So, uh, <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a check, uh, challenge for next week. But, uh, I said that's for next week. This is like, like probably on Wednesday coming up. That's when I'll be doing that. So, uh, <laughs> I said, uh, these, are plan these are plans right now. This is where things are looking. Uh, I'm still trying to work on uh, getting the uh, a new system, a, a sort of a a system that I can do uh, software development for Linux. I'm trying to get that off the ground. That's sort of uh, a product that's sort of growing. I I've ended up dropping. Uh, it's not that I intentionally dropped it, but uh, in order to do the observations outside for for the Oral Research Project, uh, I need to do some base work in here on the systems. Well, I haven't been able to get to, to them, so I haven't been able to go outside and do any observation for the month of October. So hopefully, uh, starting tomorrow, I can pick that back up again and, and start getting... In other words, I need to start putting the schedule uh, back together uh, with everything in there, including the expansion uh, in, up to Mars Alpha. So that's all these things have sort of now sort of have to come together, sort of come together as one bit and work together until I come to the next upgrade, which will probably be a little bit after Christmas. Will be the next series of upgrades. 
and that will sort of cause everything to fall apart. <laughs> then I sort of put everything back together again with the new pieces that with the new pieces that I have now have. So that's what happens. You move along, you set your schedule, you get used to the schedule. Then it, 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 as you just get the set schedule set, you begin to upgrade because things are going better. And the upgrade causes problems that causes the schedule fault because you now have uh, new bits of work that you have to work on in order to in, in fit into the schedule. But it's not it, it's not in such a way that that one thing can go on, these multiple things can go on at the same time. Sometimes things do have to drop in order for the upgrade, which requires a little bit more attention, uh, your, so your focus drops from the other things. And as that happens, uh, some things get sort of fall off the schedule. Then, But after you, the upgrade is done, you can go, okay, yeah, now the upgrade's done. I can pull my attention back and now let's bring, now let's bring everything back in together again. So uh, that's kind of what's happening, going to be happening starting tomorrow uh, and we will be moving towards our next set of upgrades which will probably in the January February time frame so we'll see what ends up happening there and uh, so uh, I'll let you know how the schedule goes tomorrow uh, what ends up what ends up being successful and what not what, what doesn't end up being successful so uh, we'll go from there so I will see you in this next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory All's BTS Log, see you then. Democratic Earth. Earth.